Hi everyone, so I'm back with a new video. This one's not exactly a food video. Today I would like to make some sugar glass. Now sugar glass is essentially a hard candy that looks and acts a bit like glass. You can even try to make lenses from it, which I'll get to it later in the video. With Halloween about a month away, I thought this would be pretty cool for like a prop or, you know, to use in something like broken glass cupcakes. It can also be really easily flavored and colored, and if you have the proper mold, you can make something like beer glasses or wine glasses from it. So it's really cool stuff. Let's just jump right into it. So for this recipe, we just need about three ingredients. So we need 220 grams or about one cup of granulated sugar, 300 grams or about one cup of corn syrup, such as caro syrup, and 125 milliliters or about one half cup of water. To help with the candy making, you can add an optional pinch of cream of tartar if you have it. Um, this will help the sugar from recrystallizing as it begins to be heated. Also at this point, feel free to add any coloring or flavoring to your sugar mixture. And give this all a good mix right now. We're gonna pour this into a container for heating up. Um, I'm gonna be using my trusty rusty portable burner here uh, so I don't have to move around too much but I know it doesn't look very pretty. Now you might be wondering why I'm boiling sugar in this strange looking contraption and for those of you who see my powdered milk video you might recognize this. This is a vacuum flask. I attempted to actually remove all of the air bubbles in the sugar syrup by going to vacuum but in the end this is completely pointless so just ignore this part of the video. Feel free to use whatever heating vessel your heart desires. The process for making sugar glass is essentially the same process as making candy. We just need to bring the sugar up to the hard crack stage, which to me honestly sounds like a stage of Dee and Dennis's life from It's Always Sunny. But actually, hard crack stage in terms of candy making means that we just need the sugar to be around 145 degrees Celsius or 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Now as the name hints at, once the sugar is heated up to this point and then cools back down, it will crack like hard candy. So we're just going to let this heat up on medium high heat, just very carefully watch this. There are actually two methods to see which stage in the candy making process you're actually at. The first and perhaps easiest method is just to use a thermometer. Remember, we just need to see that the sugar is getting up to 145 degrees Celsius. Since I was a doofus and used this flask, uh, measuring with a thermometer in this flask setup actually gave me steam burns. So I had to go old school and use the cold water method. Now, the cold water method, you simply just grab a dab of the sugar syrup and allow it to drop into a bowl of cold water. You should see at first, uh, as the sugar is heating up, it won't hold together. It'll just completely separate when it hits the water. Um, then it'll start to hold its shape. And this is kind of in the soft ball stage. And this means that once it cools down, it'll still be soft. But as the sugar syrup gets hotter and hotter, it'll eventually form like threads and will be very brittle and when you've reached that stage and it forms brittle threads that you can snap once it's cooled down then you're at the hard crack stage now while or before the sugar is heating up you also need to grease some molds for your sugar to cool down in I'm gonna use some coconut oil to line my mold so the sugar doesn't actually stick but we don't want to have too much oil so I use a paper towel to mop up the excess oil as I said this will just prevent the glass from sticking too much to the pans uh, when we want to get it back out I'm also going to grease a spherical ice cube mold that I have to make a bad lens. I'll come back to this. Okay, so now back to the sugar. Now you may notice that my sugar syrup is getting darker and darker, which is something that I didn't really want. I actually ended up making two batches, um, kind of playing around with the temperature to see if this was the problem. It seems as though this wasn't actually what was causing it. I actually suspect it has to do with the quality of sugar and corn syrup that I used. In essence, this shouldn't happen to you, but I mean, it still acts like glass and it kind of looks like beer glass, so I think it's it's probably still fine. Now, once my sugar was at the temperature, I plugged the cap and actually began pumping down to vacuum to remove the dissolved air from the syrup. It turned out to be practically pointless because in the second batch, as I mentioned earlier that I made with a various temperature, I did this not in a vacuum flask. If you look at them both, there really isn't much of a difference. It's not really necessary. <laughs> once the syrup was heated though, you can pour it into your molds and let it cool completely. And be careful when pouring this into the molds because sugar burns are a really nasty thing. We're just gonna wanna let this cool, so somewhere around two hours later should be good. Now because I was feeling lazy I actually returned to this the next day and here you can see it turned out awesome. I got really flat clean sugar glass with very few air bubbles. The color was a bit off but it acts uh, like glass. I mean it completely snaps here and breaks. The second batch also turned out pretty good and I'm happy with it. Um, now what about this lens? Well it kind of cracked a little on the surface as I pulled it out and also because of the spherical shape of the mold it suffered for some really bad spherical astigmatism. Maybe I can get a parabolic mold sometime in the future. But in any case, it still kind of works well. And now, it's been super gray and rainy here, so I can't really use sunlight to focus down and burn a piece of paper or something. But I probably could if I had sunlight. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please consider subscribing. Bye!